Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zooty Pickups. In today's video, I have a two for one double whammy video. We're gonna be talking about the fall winter 2018 Supreme shoulder bag and waist bag. Um, so if you're just interested in one of these bags and don't want to sit through the entire video, I'm going to put the timestamps down below so you can just skip to whichever bag you're interested in. But yeah, let's get started. Um, so me personally, I think some of the Supreme's best pieces are their luggage pieces, pretty much like every season. So I, I usually end up buying like, you know, at least one or two pieces, whether it be a shoulder bag, a waist bag, or, um, even backpacks. Um, so I have a bunch of the Supreme luggage and you know, I really like all their stuff. So this season was no exception. They had the waist bag and shoulder bag and I couldn't really make up my mind which one to get. So I just decided to get both. And then I guess I'll just sell the one that I end up liking less. Um, so yeah, before we get into all the details of each individual bag, I just kind of want to talk about the common denominator between the two bags and that is the fabric the outer shell of the bag is made out of. So these bags are made with VX21 X-Pack fabric. Um, it is essentially a very abrasion resistant, high durability, lightweight, rigid fabric made by a company called Dimension Polyant. Um, the fabric is indeed made in the USA and it is a extremely kind of like high tech, uh, newer fabric that a lot of uh, luggage companies have been using, especially like in the uh, performance outdoor industry and the military tactical industry and a lot of the companies in the EDC industry have been using it too because of its superior qualities. So usually Supreme uses Cordura for their bags and, and Cordura is a great material, it's very sturdy. However, the downside to Cordura is that it is usually pretty heavy. Um, and um, after a couple of years, the Cordura tends to bag out a little bit and lose its shape over time. So VX21 kind of seems to rectify those issues. So the material is very lightweight, uh, way more lightweight compared to Cordura. It has a very smooth hand feel. It's not coarse like Cordura is. And uh, best of all, it keeps its rigidity over time, uh, much more so than Cordura. The reason for that is that VX21 was developed as a sailcloth, like literally like the material that boat sails are made out of. So, you know, it has to have all these uh, properties. So yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked that uh, Supreme jumped on the bandwagon with the VX21 bags. Um, I've been looking for a VX21 bag for a while now, and uh, you know it's great that I was able to get one from Supreme. So um, enough about the material, let's start talking about the actual bags themselves. So uh, let's start with the waist bag first. Um, so the waist bag retailed for a price of $88. Um, as you can see, it is a oval shaped bag and it has a carrying capacity of 1.2 liters. Um, that really doesn't really convey how large the bag is to you. So I'll just do this. I'll just put my palm over the bag and as you can see it just pretty much covered by my entire palm. So that's how big the bag is. Pretty much the size of a full grown man's hand. Uh, the bag has two main compartments. It has this uh, top compartment and a auxiliary compartment in the middle. The top compartment can be accessed through these uh, dual zippers. So the zippers do have these pretty cool paracord zipper pulls on them and they are YKK, so you're gonna get some quality zipper action. So once you open up the uh, main compartment, as you can see, it is just one big monolithic compartment. There's no dividers or anything like that. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that the inside of the bag is not lined with the same X-Pack the X21 fabric is just lined with normal fabric, but the normal fabric does have a Supreme branding pattern embossed on it all throughout. Uh, another thing to note is on the right side, there is a Supreme made in China tag. Um, I'll put up a picture of that so you guys can uh, kind of pause to legit check. Um, so this bag, while the fabric, the VX21 fabric is made in the United States, the bag itself is assembled in China, hence the made in China tag. So closing up the main compartment, let's move on to the auxiliary compartment. So the auxiliary compartment has a single zipper and when you open it up, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty flat compartment. It's a flat pocket. Uh, so it's a two dimensional pocket that does not have much of a Z axis. So you'll be putting like thin items in here, like 
your you know wallets phones uh, cards and stuff like that uh, but nothing that is bulky but it does give you the entire kind of like oval face of the bag in terms of volume so you can put quite a lot of stuff in here the inside of the compartment is also lined with that same supreme printed liner material so moving to the very front of the bag you can see we have a woven supreme box logo right in the center of the bag sewn on there um, and one thing that the pictures don't do a good job of showing off is this bottom branding. You can see that there is a Supreme logo printed on with 3M ink. I thought that was a pretty cool little detail that not a lot of people noticed. Uh, moving to the back, we have the DP or Dimension Polyant tag right here. Um, it says Dimension Polyant X-Pack fabric made in USA. Put up another picture of that so you guys can freeze. And the entire back of the bag is essentially just a large VX21 panel, so nothing too special going on here. On either side, you have these little tabs for the straps to attach to, which are also made out of VX21. And on the right tag, you do have a little woven Supreme box logo uh, tag right there. So moving on to the straps, uh, the straps don't really have anything too special going on. They're about, uh, I would say 1.5 inches wide. So you got a little bit of heft here. Um, they do have these little elastic loops for excess strap management. So if you cinch the straps down, you have a bunch of excess uh, strap. You can just use these little loops to secure those so they don't flop around. That's always nice to have. And the buckle here, you can see it's a UTX Duraflex buckle. So, you know, these are name brand buckles are kind of like the YKK of buckles. So, you know, they're not going to be breaking anytime soon. It's nice that Supreme uses, you know, name brand buckles and zippers and all that kind of stuff on their bags. It adds a little bit of uh, extra quality that you don't get from, you know, the cheaper bags. So, yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers everything. Like I said, it's a two compartment bag. Uh, no dividers or anything like that. Very minimalist. Uh, there's, I guess, two things to note here. Number one is the size. So this bag is not a very big bag. Like I said, it's 1.2 liters. So it's not going to be any sort of like utility carry bag. You're not going to be fitting a whole lot of stuff in here. What you can use this for is essentially like um, a carrier for stuff that you normally put in your pockets. Uh, for, for kind of like a quality of life improvement. If you don't want to have stuff bulging out of your pockets, you know, so stuff like your wallet, your phone, um, your keys, a notebook, a pen, stuff like that maybe, or maybe even a power bank and some extra cables, but anything beyond that, you're kind of pushing the limits of this bag. Um, maybe you could also use this as like a camera bag. Um, I mean, I'd show you guys putting my camera in here, but obviously I'm filming with the camera. I have a Sony Alpha 6000 and I can assure you it fits fine into this bag with plenty of room. Uh, the only downside to that would be the fact that this bag has like zero padding so that your, your camera would be unprotected. So you'd have to get one of those like um, neoprene cases for your, your, your camera so it doesn't get damaged, but it would definitely fit in here. So that is definitely another use case um, for this bag. Uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the length of the strap here. So the strap has gotten way shorter compared to previous seasons. Um, I know a lot of people like to wear these bags as like a crossbody sling. So like, like this. And um, because the strap has gotten short, you can see that it rides, you know, quite high up on my chest uh, before it would kind of ride lower towards my hip or my waist. But now due to the shortened length of the strap, you can see it like rides like right under my neck. I mean, it's still accessible. It's not a deal breaker or anything. I can still open it up and get to all my stuff. But it's just one thing that you should note. Um, if I spin it around to the other side, uh, you can see that it rides quite high on my back as well. So like I said, um, these are definitely not like deal breaker items, but it's stuff that you should note before you purchase. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the waist bag. It's a nice little bag, uh, very simplistic, minimalistic waist bag. Um, if you're just thinking about carrying just a small number of things with you, your basic EDC items, I think this bag would be perfect. So now let's move on to the shoulder bag. All right, so here we have the shoulder bag. So the shoulder bag retailed for a price of 74 US dollars. 
Um, as you can see, it is a rectangular bag and it has a carrying capacity of 1.8 liters. I thought that was actually really interesting. Normally, Supreme shoulder bags are always smaller than their waist bags, like traditionally, but this season, uh, the, the shoulder bag actually has a little more carrying capacity and, it, and it's cheaper, so you're getting a little more bang for your buck here. So let's inspect uh, what all the shoulder bag has going on because there's definitely a lot of stuff going on here compared to the waist bag. So there are three main compartments. You have a top main compartment, you have a front auxiliary compartment, and then you have a middle Velcro compartment. So let's get into all these compartments. So as you can see, the top main compartment can be accessed through a, a double zipper. Um, the zippers are also YKK and have the nice little paracord zipper pull similar to the waist bag. So opening up all the way, you can see that it goes down pretty much all the way down the sides of the bag, which is really nice. And when the bag opens up, you can see that there's some webbing here along the sides to prevent the bag from just like opening up like all the way 180 degrees and just having all the contents of the bag just like fall on the floor. This is really nice. And you know, this is definitely like a really nice quality of life feature especially when you're wearing the bag you know and you just open it up on the street like you don't have to worry about the bag just like flopping open and everything dropping out so you know whoever designed this bag they knew what they were doing i love little kind of like attention to detail like this so um opening up the main compartment you can see that there are um sections galore so you have this kind of like back section and then you have the the main kind of like compartment section here and then in the front you have these two mesh pockets so you got a total of four kind of uh, compartments within the main compartments so you can kind of uh, divvy up your stuff organize your items and so on and so forth um, another thing to note is that the back of the bag is padded uh, there's a decent amount of foam padding right back here and this is nice because you know a shoulder bag you're going to be wearing kind of like on your side and uh, as you go about your day and go about your activities, the shoulder bag is going to bang up against your body. So having this padding on the back of the bag really protects the contents of the bag. Um, and it's definitely a nice thing to have. So like I said, you know, whoever designed this bag really knew what they were doing. So the inside of the bag is lined with this fabric with a repeating Supreme print on it. Um, on the bottom right of the bag, you see a Supreme Made in China tag. I'll put up a picture so you guys can see it a little better. So as I said before, these bags are indeed assembled in China, even though the material, the expat material is made in the United States. <clears throat> so closing up the main compartment, let's move to the front auxiliary compartment. So the front auxiliary compartment has one zipper to access. And once you open it up, you can see it's another flat pocket. It doesn't really have too much Z access going on. So, uh, so you're gonna be able to fit thin items in here, but it looks like uh, Supreme wants you to carry some keys in here because you got this uh, key hook in there on the right side and on the left side, you actually have a uh, D ring that you can um, hook some more stuff onto. So you got some utility here on the flat pocket as well. Uh, the flat pocket does not go all the way to the top. It only go extends about like 75% to the top. So you don't have as much storage space as the main compartments, but I think for a auxiliary flat pocket, this should be fine. You know, you can still fit your phone, you can still fit other stuff in here, no problem whatsoever. So moving on to the third compartment, this is actually my favorite feature of this bag. It is a Velcro drop pouch. Um, this is really nice because, you know, it, it doesn't fully close. As you can see, only the middle is Velcroed, so the sides are kind of open. So if you're wearing this and your hands are full where you cannot operate the zippers, this is really nice to have because you can just drop your stuff into the bag and let gravity do the work. So you have like, you know, coins or something like that or some cash that you have to put away really quick. It's an easy way to put stuff away. Like, you know, if you're at a checkout at a grocery store and you get your, your change back and there's like people waiting in line pressuring you, I get like super anxious, like fumbling with my money, trying to put it in my wallet. You just drop it in here and just coolly walk off and just organize it later. So I think a drop pouch like that is really nice to have in a bag. So moving on to the very front of the bag, you can see that uh, you have some Supreme branding done in a 3M print. So as you can see, it's very large and very loud. Um, Move into the back of the bag. You have the Dimension Polyant tag right here. Uh, same as the waist bag. It says Dimension Polyant X Pack fabric made in the USA. And then you have these very interesting kind of like Velcro panels here. So I, 
at first I was kind of stumped. I didn't really know what these were. So after looking online for a little bit and uh, Instagram, I did find out what these are for. So essentially there's two things you can use this for. So even without um, opening up the Velcro panels, just like under the Velcro panels, you can see that there's like a loop area. So you can put like a strap or a belt or something like that through here and just attach the bag to anything. Like um, you could even just like thread the bag through your belt and you know, wear it as like a, like a hip pouch like this, or you could um, thread like a camera strap or something like that through there and wear it as a crossbody sling. Um, so you got some options. Um, then what is this, uh, this Velcro for? So I, I was thinking about it and I think basically what it is, it's like you know, for, for things like a backpack, you know, you can't really detach the backpack strap to slide through this loop here. So I think what you do here is you just undo the Velcro like so, um, put it on your backpack strap like this and just Velcro the Velcro across your straps like so. And then voila, you have a um, front pouch for your backpack straps. Obviously you would have to kind of like organize these, uh, the straps for the shoulder bag, but you know, you can just kind of tuck them away behind. There is a little pocket for them to be tucked. So yeah, it has a lot of utility. Um, it is pretty cool that it has these uh, Velcro straps that really kind of make the bag a lot more versatile. So essentially you can use this as a regular shoulder bag. You can attach it to a strap. You can attach it to your belt. You can attach it to other bags. There is actually a ton of utility that you get by having these little Velcro straps. So that is pretty cool. Uh, finally, moving to the actual shoulder straps themselves. The uh, width of the strap is a little thinner than the waist bag. I'd say this is like an inch wide. Um, and there is a little adjustment buckle here and you can see that there is another UTX Duraflex um, snap buckle here on the side. Very high quality, a lot of resistance, feels really durable. This is not gonna break anytime soon. But yeah, um, you can just uh, unbuckle this and kind of like tuck it in the back right here and you can kind of like tuck this in the back right here and you won't have the straps in the way if you're just trying to use this as a drop bag and attach it onto other bags like so. So yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers uh, everything about this bag. Uh, the, there were actually a lot more things on this bag to talk about than the waist bag because it just had so many features, which I find is pretty strange actually, because this is the more expensive bag. This is the cheaper bag and it seems to have a lot more features. So I think, you know, all in all, since this bag is cheaper, has more features, has more carrying capacity. You know, this is my current favorite bag. The shoulder bag would be my recommendation for now. The waist bag is nice for what it is. I mean, if you don't wanna carry a lot of stuff, this is kind of like the way to go. It sits on your body a little nicer as a cross bag and even as like a fanny pack type waist bag. The shoulder bag does kind of like sit a little awkwardly on your body. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't show what the shoulder bag looks like on body. You know, I, I guess I should do that before the end of the video. So this is what the shoulder bag looks on the body. See, rides about right there. This is with the strap pretty much mostly fully extended. Um, you could have it sit a little higher or sit a little lower, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Sorry about that. Should have showed you that earlier. So, so anyway, like I said, uh, I think the shoulder bag hat is the better value. There's a lot more functionality here. So this is the bag I would personally recommend. Um, that's not to say that the waist bag, you know, it's not a good bag. It's, I think it's good for what it is. Uh, if you have a minimalist EDC and you don't carry a lot of stuff and you don't like stuff in your pockets, you know, this is probably the better bag. This is a lot lighter and it is uh, a lot less noticeable on your body. So yeah, all in all, both of these bags are great. And if you guys are in the market, I would definitely recommend trying one of these out. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.